Right before the lockdown, I went on holidays to Cambodia. I dreamt about the beautiful sun, white beaches, crystal clear water, and two weeks of vacation. I took my backpack, a few t-shirts, and a 10 kilo brick of fresh clay. For eight years now, in my free time, I focus on my project, Thoughts. I form porcelain petals from fresh porcelain, and now I have close to 300 kilos of them. Especially in the winter, when I just sit home, I continuously make just it. I wish to continue the project until 2042, when I will have roughly 1500 kilos of thoughts. Next year, I started forming petals on the streets of cities I visited. I just sat, looked around, and let my thoughts flow freely through my mind. In that moment, my fingers formed the petals, recording each of my thoughts in the clay. It is like a vibrating needle recording sounds in a wax matrix. Even now, from time to time, I exhibit them in art galleries. In Cambodia, I hope to do 10 kilo of such record of relaxation in a tropical paradise, on a beautiful island called Korong. Unfortunately, starting from day one, my thoughts were taken over by this. Yes, plastic. Plastic waste everywhere. On the white beaches, in ports, on the rocks, along the entire coastline. We started to take the problem of plastic seriously just a few years ago, when Asian countries, one after the other, banned plastic waste import from the West. Only then did we realize that plastic recycling is a fairy tale. We reuse 20% of the waste. The rest is burned, buried, or ends up in the oceans. Corporations have been lying to us for decades about this, and they still do. We calm our conscience pretending to do something impactful. For example, banning plastic straws. Do you see any plastic straws here? Sure. Here's one. But what else do you see very clearly? Yes, the plastic bottles. On the 21st of January, when I sat in Cambodia, surrounded by the plastic waste, Coca-Cola's head of sustainability, Bea Perez, stated that the company will continue selling drinks in single-use plastic bottles because we, the consumers, demand that. But do we really want such sustainability? Plastic straw band calms you down? Please. In 2019, Coca-Cola was the largest producer of plastic packaging. It takes 200,000 plastic bottles per minute. Let it sink in. 200,000 bottles every single minute. So here is my naive thought from Cambodia. Instead of banning plastic straws or spoons, let's ban disposable plastic bottles. Of course, reorganizing the whole production system will be costly. And in the end, it will be us, consumers, who pay for that. However, I think that if we do not do it, in the end, it will be also us who will have to pay. This time, the price will be much higher, the destruction of the entire ecosystem. Now, when my petals finally dry, they are very delicate. They crumble and fall apart in my hands. I have to be really careful when carrying them around. Only after burning, they become solid. Unfortunately, it is impossible to find a pottery oven at a tropical beach. All the petals I made in Cambodia, all my thoughts, I had to transport back to Europe. In the first minutes of the return trip, I knew that none of my work will survive. <laughs> I just thought that if even one single petal will, it is going to be a good sign that maybe one day we can solve the problem of plastic.
And this is what I saw.